Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, thank you for listening to my channel. Today, I will be doing a prophetic prayer. Please listen throughout the video because toward the end of the video, I will do specific prophetic prayers for different various needs that you may have in your life. And so it's my desire that you are healed and you are blessed today. Have a wonderful day. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this evening. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your kindness, Lord. I thank you for your mercies, Lord. You've been a good, good father. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you because you made heaven and earth. Lord, you made every universe, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, we come before you this evening. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Father. And Father, as we, I pray and intercede on the behalf of others, Lord, even myself or my family members, Lord, I thank you. There is nothing too difficult for you to do. So, Father, we pray concerning the spirit of anger, Father. Lord, we pray, Father, that everything that's not of you be rooted up out of our hearts, Father. Lord, we come to you in true repentance, Lord. Forgive us of our sins. When we have sinned against you, Father, pray, Lord, for your forgiveness. Wash us and cleanse us in the precious blood of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Cleanse us in our, us in our mind, our body, and our spirit, Father. I say no weapon that the enemy have formed against us shall prosper, Father. Lord, thank you, Lord. Even the spirit of anger shall not prosper. Continue in our souls and our spirit, Father. We cut it off by the sword of the spirit, the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord God. For your mighty hand of deliverance in our lives. Father, I pray for every individual, Lord, that's going through a, a hard time dealing with anger issues in their life, Father. I pray, Father God, if this is something in the bloodline, in the family bloodline, Father, Lord, we ask that you forgive the sins of the ancestors, Father. Lord, I ask that you forgive the, sin, the sins of the parents, Father. Lord, I ask that you forgive the sin of every viewer, Father. And Lord, that you wash and you cleanse the bloodline. You wash and you cleanse every one of us, so Father. Lord, I thank you for your cleansing power through the precious blood of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, even as you cleanse us, Lord, you fill us up. Fill us up, Lord, with your spirit, with your love, Lord. Let your love just flow in our hearts, in our soul, in our spirit. We break off the assignment of the enemy to bring in strife, to bring in division. We break that off in the powerful name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, because you're a good, good Father. You're a loving Father. Lord, thank you, Father God, that no weapon that the enemy have formed against the family unit, I decree and declare that it cannot continue to prosper. I come against that spirit of strife in the home. I break it off in the powerful name of Jesus. Every spirit that comes to bring destruction in the family unit, in the marriage, and relationships in the family, I bind that spirit on the authority of God's word. Father, I decree your peace, Lord, shall uh, rule and reign in that home and in that family, Father. Use that wife. Use that husband, Lord, to be an instrument of healing, to be an instrument that brings restoration, Lord, in the family, in the home, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let words that, that minister healing, that minister peace to the wife, to the husband, Lord, be spoken, Father. Lord, thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your word that encourages us to do what is right, Father. Father, your word says, refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. So, Father, I'm praying, Father, that you teach us as your people to refrain from anger and turn from wrath. And that we will not be fretful. But, Lord, everything that we are concerned about, we bring it before you. 
making our requests known unto you. And Lord, we lay it down at the altar, not picking it up again, not worrying, not being overly anxious, or even just anxious, Father, because Lord, weary is sin. So Lord, we give it over to you, Father. Lord, to rule and to ring in our hearts and in our soul. Lord, we trust you because you're the one, the only one, Lord God, that can bring resolution, that can bring healing, that can bring rest, uh, deliverance, Father. So I entrust, Lord, every individual into your hand. Father, your words is a quick-tempered person does fool, foolish things. And the one who devises evil schemes is hated. Father, I'm praying for every one of us, Lord, that we would not be quick-tempered. I pray for that beer, Father, Lord, that's experiencing, Lord, being quick-tempered, Father. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you are bringing a change about even now over their hearts and soul and spirit, Father, that this is a new day, a new season for that person, Father. Lord, that this day forward, Lord, no longer will they go into explosive rages. No longer will they yield to the spirit of rage. Father, I thank you and I speak and declare they yield to you, Father. Father. They humble themselves under your mighty hand. And I say thank you, Lord, that you are bringing that healing. You're bringing that restoration. Lord, I thank you because they have confessed their sin. So I speak a release of your peace over their mind. Let your peace mount guard over their heart, mind, and spirit, and body. Thank you for it right now, Lord. Father, for your words, it's but I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Father, we don't want to experience your judgment, but Lord, we want to humbly submit ourselves unto you and walk in total obedience unto you and experience your blessings, experience your healing, experience, Lord, everything that you have for us. And I thank you, Lord, that as these viewers are coming into agreement with your ways and with your word, Lord, I speak and decree, Father, and I see, Lord, that you're opening up supernatural doors, Lord God, for fighting financial blessings, Lord, because they're choosing to let go of bitterness. They're choosing to let go of hatred. Thank you, Father God. You're opening up doors supernaturally, Lord, for that job. Supernatural blessings, Lord, for that spouse they have been praying about. Father, I thank you, Lord. Though there are individuals out there that have been looking for a spouse, Lord, I see you blessing that individual with that spouse, Father, someone that can truly love them because they truly love you. Thank you, Father God. Lord, I see that you are releasing healing, especially for those, Lord, that have been sick and infirmed in their bodies. Lord, thank you that you're touching them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. I see healing right now taking place in their hearts, in their soul, spirit, and body. Lord, thank you, Lord. People have been healed of cancer. I speak and decree it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your healing power, your delivering power. And I decree no weapon that the enemy have formed against your people. It cannot prosper. I thank you, Lord, that you're healing individuals of diabetes digestive problems, digestive system problems. Lord, I just speak and release healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. If you're having problems with your digestive system, lay your hands on your tummy, and I just speak the release and the healing power of God to just flow on throughout your body. Thank you, Father God. Lord, those with high blood pressure, I speak to the blood pressure and I say, calm down in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you're healing high blood pressure. Lord, someone with high cholesterol, I thank you, Lord, this is going to be a new day, a new season. That cholesterol is coming down, that, that number is coming down. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. And Father, I just speak to those that, that's been having uh, problems with Alzheimer's or memory problems. Lord, you're just bringing it, that to mind. I speak healing over the mind, Father. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of the enemy that wants to destroy the mind with Alzheimer's. I break that assignment off in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I just release your healing power. Let it flow from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. I say, Satan, you take your hands off their mind, off their spirit, and off their body. In the powerful name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. <laughs> Thank you.